All right, this video is very important to me. I'll have like one last little funny one. This one obviously is not funny. Um, and I'll have, you know, dancing videos, probably New Year's, only like one or two. My main focus is the Bible, my books, um, nothing else, and Jesus and God. So let's get into it. Um, so the election was very big, like no other. During Obama, it was very big as well, okay? But nothing like this election, especially the times we're in. But I pray and hope that we see more of this meltdown and crying, not for a president, but for Jesus Christ and for God. The meltdown, the crying, and I just pray and I know that this country believed that whether Trump won or Kamala Harris won, thinks that they can save them. And the only one is Jesus Christ and God. It, those two are the only ones going to make America great again. Nobody else. And not just that, but save their salvation and their eternal life and from not being left behind and waiting the seven years tribulation. They think this was an important event, the rapture church uh, is so important so i pray that people have meltdowns now for jesus and god instead of an election and i get it i get it i'm a person who don't vote never will the only time frame i was going to vote was for obama but anyways um i just pray for this country because it's going to fall and so many people don't know what's coming and it's just the fact that they feel like a president can save them and help them. At the end of the day, they are careless where God loves them so much and God loved them so much. You want a relationship, not a religion with them, but a relationship with them. And he's the one for the hope and faith for us when chaos hit. A president can't save you. When a hurricane, what happens to hurricanes? They take forever to help people. Hurricane Katrina, the Helena, Helena the, the, the North Carolina. So when I see this meltdown, I just wish it was for Jesus and God versus a president that, first of all, don't care about you. They don't love you. They don't have the best interest in you. It's all about the money. Whereas with God and Jesus, it's, it's your, your whole being as a human. And it's the best relationship ever in and he's waiting for so many people to reach out to him, to read their Bible, to get to know him, to give him a chance, to give, 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 believe in him, heaven, hell, the rapture, the tribulation, seven years tribulation, the second coming. This world will not be after the seven tribulation. It will be destroyed by fire and recreated like heaven. This is our temporary home in the name of Jesus. This is not permanent. And it's just really sad because both of these parties, um, whatever you want to call them, running candidates are both bad and evil. All the people, Obama, all of them. None of these people should be trusted. It's just amazing to see, well, interesting, not amazing, to see them put so much trust in a human being to save our country and to help them. And like, like, like that's the only hope and last option we have is a president where it's King Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the beginning, his father, Lord, father, God almighty, the first, the last, the omega, the beginning and the end. And you don't see that. You don't see people just melting down about Jesus and God and whether it's in the schools or, or. You know, it's just, you don't see meltdowns about God and Jesus anymore. You see meltdowns about a president in an election as if that's going to help us. It's, it's not going to help us. And like their only faith and hope, if they have any faith, it can be an unbeliever, atheist, whatever, is in a human of this world, not of a higher power. And to me, it's just, I see the election as the biggest joke because first of all, you're your votes don't matter because I always feel like they are messed with anyways to make whichever candidate win. And God's going to let whoever he wants to win to fulfill the prophecies that need to come to pass. God bless.